Lauren decides to get out of her sticky predicament by leaving Walford for New Zealand. How will Stephen react to that slam dunk? Will he even hear it first hand? She goes to tell him it's over, but can't quite find the bottle, and Abby is soon trying to lure him away from her sister. Stephen realises something's up and is paranoid when he can't find her, then angry when Josh suddenly arrives and puts him in the picture. Can he stop her from leaving? With a push from Bex and Shaquille, Travis apologises to Louise for not believing her, but Alexandra vows revenge after she overhears Bex talking about her. She's nervous as she prepares for the showcase, and with the mean girls intent on causing trouble, how will it turn out? You've got one guess. Louise wants to go, but is babysitting Denny and Will. They persuade her to leave them alone, then decide to prank Keegan, but Bernadette is the victim. Cush and Martin take revenge on Robbie when he evicts Donna from the market for missing her rent, while Michelle comes clean to Tom on their date. Next, it's time for the cobbles. Sarah brings home the friendly neighbourhood copper Neil to reassure Bethany she's not to blame. Alone, he threatens her and orders her to confess she made everything up. Craig sees them and is suspicious. When he quizzes Bethany, she breaks down and reveals Neil is one of the rapists, but demands he keeps it quiet. Craig decides to quit the force rather than tell, but when Neil lies to his face, he's desperate to dob him into their bosses. Will he? Meanwhile, Gary and Sarah go on the hunt for more of Nathan's victims, and she thinks Shona is the person who can help them. Speaking of Shona, David's in a state as the family mark the first anniversary of Kylie's death, so when he sees Billy guiding her into a number 11, he loses the plot. Erica tells Dev she's busy as she books a hotel room for her and her new crush, Kevin, but he doesn't show and later apologises, telling her he loves Anna. Aidan's angry to learn the wedding's back on, but Eva feels terrible when Johnny says he'll be a better dad than he ever was. Bad enough to stop her plan? Next, we visit the farming folk. Aaron is on the verge of self-harming again after more trauma with Robert. Earlier, he urges his husband to go with Rebecca to her first baby scan. But he's struggling with it and dials up dealer Ethan for some spice. He arrives with Aaron's prison foe Jason in tow and are soon brawling. As Robert begins to warm to the idea of his baby son, Aaron throws away the drugs but takes a knife to his skin. Laurel knows something is rotten about Emma and she confronts her but is devastated to learn the Ashley videos have been deleted. Laurel asks Arthur for his side of the story but Emma leaps in before he can tell it as Emma's secret about to be blown. Pierce pleads not guilty to the rape charges, but worse, Rona learns the creep plans to use their sex tape as evidence. Later, Patty checks in on her and agrees to keep her company overnight. They share a hug, a moment someone covertly photographs. 